Hashtag Ask Goji Man, is it possible to induce autophagy on a carnivore diet? Great question, let's get to it. Roll the titles. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow this down for you. Hi everyone, welcome back. It's good to see you again. If you haven't met before, then hi, I'm Goji Man. I'm currently finishing a master's in nutrition and qualifying as a nutritionist. And later this year, I'm gonna be doing a PhD in nutritional science. I make vegan health and nutrition videos as often as I can. So if you have a question for me, then hashtag Ask Goji Man in the comments below. Or alternatively, send your video questions through to contact at gojimannutrition.com. So as always, just a quick reminder that I'm now providing consults, organic acids, stool tests and SIBO tests via my website. So if you have any health or digestive problems, then consider taking these tests as they will provide a lot of very detailed information upon which you can start making informed decisions and start getting your health back on track. And on that bombshell, to the video. So autophagy, also known as cell eating, is a detoxification process in which your body cleans out damaged cells. So in effect, you have a protein called P62 that detects metabolic byproducts in the cells, and it is this P62 protein that switches on and off autophagy. But as I will talk about in this video, P62 interacts with mTOR and the amount of protein coming into the body, so it can be difficult on a carnivore diet to induce autophagy. So essentially, autophagy is a way of cleaning out your cells and keeping them in homeostasis. It also serves as an adaptive role to protect you against bacteria, viruses, as well as other infections, cancers, heart disease, and brain degenerative diseases. Therefore, if you want to live a long and healthy life free of disease, then autophagy is something you want regularly occurring in your body. So inducing autophagy in the body is very much regulated by mammalian target of rapamycin or mTOR as it's also known. And in terms of autophagy, the biggest turn off of the regulatory pathways is protein. So the easiest way to explain the process is that mTOR is almost like a nutrient sensor in that it detects how many nutrients are coming into your body. So if you have consistently high protein meals, as you typically would on a carnivore diet, then mTOR detects the influx of protein coming into your body and autophagy is kept switched off. Now I will caveat my previous statement and say that you can induce autophagy on a carnivore diet, but to do this you would have to be keto and getting upwards of 75 to 80% of calories from fat to induce autophagy and see the benefits from this. And I can probably think of only a handful of keto people that are hitting these fat levels. So for the remainder of those on high protein carnivore diets, they will probably hardly ever see autophagy, even when intermittent fasting. The only way that they could probably induce autophagy is with water fasts, and autophagy is probably induced at around 24 to 48 hours. So to induce autophagy on a regular basis and to get the benefits of clearing out the cells on a regular basis, then you would need to fast on a regular basis. And again, I know very few carnivore dieters that regularly fast, and by regular, I mean two to three times a month. Now, in terms of inducing autophagy, there are a number of ways that you can achieve this. You can increase the amount of fat in your diet, so upwards of 75 to 80% for 48 hours or so, or you can also go on a protein fast. So to achieve this, you would probably need to be eating less than 20 grams of protein for 48 hours or more. Intermittent fasting is probably one of the easiest ways of inducing autophagy, but again you would need to be fasting for upwards of 16 to 28 hours. And to do this on a carnivore diet you would need to protein fast before the intermittent fast because of the mTOR autophagy protein regulation triangle. Now whatever way you induce autophagy, whether it's from protein fasting or intermittent fasting etc, sleep is going to be a big part of that jigsaw. And this is because activating autophagy is also heavily controlled by the circadian rhythms. So if you aren't getting good quality sleep, then you are always gonna be struggling inducing autophagy. Now this is all redundant if you have consistently high levels of mTOR in your body, as this will inhibit autophagy, as will high protein diets, both of which keep the P62 protein switched off. So in answer to the question, is autophagy difficult to achieve on a carnivore diet? The answer is yes. As meat eaters have higher levels of mTOR, higher levels of protein, it is more difficult in those bodies to induce autophagy. And if you want long-term health free of disease, then this is not a good place to be in. So that's the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. As always, if you have a question for me, then hashtag Ask Goji Man in the comments below. And remember to look after your body because it's the only place you have to live. And I'll see you next time.